Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, girls. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Excellent. I'm really glad to hear that you're fine. Tell me, have you been working on the platform or have you had any problem? Or is everything okay? Sorry. For the moment, is it's okay. Thanks. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Okay, so can you tell me what did we do yesterday? I'm sorry? What did we do yesterday? Do you remember? Oh, okay. The uh, participio, I don't know. Okay, participio yes. And proficio. Yeah. Prepositions. 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 Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yesterday we were studying uh, modifiers with prepositions and particles. Excellent. So today, as I mentioned yesterday, we are going to begin with section five. And on section five, something that I was telling you yesterday is that we are going to start studying the present perfect. So I really need you to pay attention because this is a tense that is totally different from the others that you have studied till now, okay? El presente perfecto es un tiempo completamente diferente a los que han estado estudiando hasta ahora. ¿verdad? So we are going to begin by listening and practicing a conversation that we have on the platform. And then I'm going to be explain, explaining to you some of the usages that we have for the present perfect tense. Okay, so let's begin. And here we go. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, so that was the conversation that we I've had already done that, too. That is introducing this topic for the present perfect okay so let's see um let me check who do i have here okay so we're going to have saul and jocelyn larin can you read this conversation ¿Qué soy? You can i choose. begin okay <laughs> It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been an, in New Orleans long? Just a, just a few, few days. I am really excited. Excited. To be, excited to be here. I can wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I be already. Into one. Oh well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I'd be already done in that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. 
Actually, that, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take uh, it, it, it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you. So now you, can you please choose two different people, Saul and Jocelyn? Maybe, um, I don't know, Monica. Okay, Monica and? Giselle. And Giselle, thank you. Okay, it's great to see you talk. Have you been in New Orleans long? Okay, and is Monica here? I don't see Monica. Uh, no, Monica is not here yet. So we're going to have Janet. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Can you continue, please? Uh, todo. Uh, Giselle already said the first part, so can you continue here? Okay. Uh, continue with just a few? Uh-huh, please. Just a, okay. Just a few days, I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show to show you the city. Have you been to Jazz Club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about the Riverwood tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There a lot of fun. Actually, that's a show I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you, girls. Can you choose two different people, please? Um... Lily, Lily okay. Guevara. Okay, Lily. Eh, Walter Rivera. And Walter, thank you. Okay. It's great to see you, Tho. How to be in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've been ready to be to one. Been to one. Oh well. How about how about the river boat tour? Uh, I've been ready one done that too. Have you ridden in a street the street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually. That's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Can you choose two different people, please? Hey, Abigail. Okay, Abigail and... Sandra. Okay, thank you. So we have Abigail and Sandra. Okay. okay. It's great to see you, Tal. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. 
Oh, well, how about a riverboat too? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There, there are a lot of fun. Actually, that show I go here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I'm, I really just want to take it easy. And I feel it I'm really killing me. Are killing me. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, okay, so I'm going to give you feedback about pronunciation. Okay, so not all, but some of you were having problems with this word. Okay, this one is excited. Okay, excited. Another thing that I could notice is that we're having problems reading this part, okay? How do you read this? I. I. Okay, thank you. I've already been to one. Perfect. Okay. Uh, teacher. Yes? Is a... En la, en, la, en la oración, en la segunda oración, ese, yo escucho eh, New Orleans Sloan, pero en realidad es uh, New Orleans Sloan. Ok. Hold on. So let's listen one more time. Listen and practice. Can you listen? Yes. It's yes. great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few. Uh huh. Sí. Yes. Se unen las dos palabras, sí. That is correct. That's something very common that we have in English that we link words. Ah, eso es algo muy común que se va a ver en el inglés, que no se van pronunciando okay. probablemente palabra por palabra, sino que se van uniendo lo que son sonidos. Ok, sí. for example, um, let me see, there's one here. Mm, let me check, have you written there a lot of fun? Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, these are... Ok, so here, take... It is easy. That's the way that how, how some of you easy. should probably read it. Sí, probablemente algunos digan, take it easy. Pero venimos y nosotros lo unimos. ¿verdad? Hacemos que sea sí. una sola. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Ok. Sí, eso okay. es algo muy común que se va a ver en el inglés. Que se unen okay. lo que son los sonidos de las palabras, ¿verdad? Pero... Más que todo, digamos, cuando hay una consonante y después es una vocal, para que se escuche más natural. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you, Tish. You're welcome. Ok. Um, let's see. Another question. No. No. Okay. No. Okay, not a problem. So we are going to begin studying the present perfect as I mentioned to you before. By any chance, do you know what do we use it for or how we are going to use it? ¿Saben cuándo usamos el presente perfecto o para qué? Creo que es eh, una para describir una acción, una acción. del pasado que, que es, continúa pasando. Por ejemplo. Mm. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir que que yo traba, tengo cinco años de trabajar en un banco, por ejemplo, y okay. sigo trabajando ahí. Ok, excelente. Yes, that is one of them. Another one. Mm. 
No. Okay, so we are going to see this right now. So you can see that here we have the usage. Um, let me see, Stephanie, can you help me read it, please? Okay. Uh, usage. Usage. I don't know. Usage. What is the pronoun here? Usage. 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 Okay. okay. Usage. We use the present perfect when we talk about a time for the past until now. For example, a person's life. How you even been to Japan? Okay. Oh. Thank you. Sorry, sorry for interrupting you. So you can see that as Edwin was saying to us or was telling us, we are going to use the present perfect when we talk about a time from the past until now. Okay. And the example that we have there is a person's life. And then we have the question, have you ever been to Japan? So you can see that from past till today. Have you ever been to Japan? Alguna vez han ido a Japón? You can tell me yes or you can tell me no. Have you ever been to Guatemala? Han yes. ido a Guatemala alguna vez? Yes. 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 Okay, okay. excellent. So we're talking about probably a situation that started in the past and that it's still now in present. So, um, Stephanie, can you continue, please? Okay. Um, we've been to Canada. Canada, I don't know. To Canada? To Canada, but we haven't been to Alaska. Mary has had many different jobs and has lived in many places places okay excellent so you can see that there we have the examples that says we've been to canada but we haven't been to alaska mary has had many different jobs and has lived in many places so if i ask um how long have you lived in your house cuánto tiempo han vivido en su casa for example About 23. Okay, yes. about 23 years. Excellent. About 10 years. About 10 years, okay. And about 23. 23 years, yes. okay. Okay, perfect. So you can see that that's something that started in the past, but still now, it's still happening now. O sea, es algo que inició en el pasado, por decirlo así, pero que aún en tiempo presente se desarrolla. Probablemente ustedes me digan, teacher, yo nací acá. For example, in my case, o sea, I, I was born here in San Salvador, but I have been living all my life in San Marcos, okay? So I can tell you that I have lived in San Marcos since I was born, okay? This I can ask you. Any questions? No. No? No. Okay, so let's continue. Um, Stephanie, can you choose another person, please? Yes, sure. Um, Susan? Okay, Susan. For some time, uh, that started in the past and continues in the present. They be been married for nearly 50 years. She has lived in Liverpool all her life. Thank you, Susan. 
So you can see that here we have the second usage that says that it is for something that started in the past and continues in the present. So we have the examples. They've been married for nearly 50 years. She has lived in Liverpool all her life. So if I ask how many of you are married? ¿Cuántos de ustedes están casados? No one? Me, me teacher. Okay. And Janet, tell us, how long have you been married? Um, 20, 24 years. Ah, okay. So we have that Janet has been married for 24 years. Okay. <laughs> Who else? ¿Quién más está casado o casada? Me. Okay, Lillian, how long have you been married? Mm, no sé si podría responder. I've been married uh, for nearly 16 years. 16 years? Sí, yes. Okay, 16 años lleva de casada. Yes. Okay. And you don't look like, honestly. Okay. I, I'm really surprised. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, excellent. So you've been married for nearly or for about 16 years. Okay, excellent. 16 years. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so you can see that there we're talking about something that started in the past and that is or that continues in the present. So let's see. Um, the next one, uh, let me see who's going to read, Edwin. Okay. Um, for something we have done several times in the past and continue to do. I've played the guitar ever since, I was a teenager. He has written uh, three books and he is working on another one. I've been watching that that program every week. Thank you, Edwin. So we have the next one that says that it is for something we have done several times in the past and continue to do. Estamos hablando de algo que hemos hecho varias veces en el pasado pero que aún las continuamos haciendo. So, for example, I play the guitar ever since I was a teenager. Okay. He has written three books and he is working on another one. I've been watching that program every week. How many of you can play a, a musical instrument? No one? Okay. No. The guitar? Pero poquito. Ah, okay. Okay, no, but play flute? I don't know. The flute? Okay. Yeah. Okay, excellent. And let me see another question. Ah, okay. This is something that you have done several times and you cannot tell me no that you haven't done it. Chat. Yes, todos chatean, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Okay, you have done it several times in the past and you still continue doing it. Lo han hecho varias veces en el pasado y aún lo hacen. For example, yes. I remember that probably like 10 or 15 years ago, we had Messenger. Yes. Yeah, it was Messenger, right? Yes. De que salió el Messenger. Yeah. Que, que si no les contestaban, mandaban zumbidos y todo eso, o no era eso. Ah. Sí, sí, es sí, messenger. Era este. <risa> ah, ok. Es messenger. De que ponían unos nombres todos extraños. Nombres o uh, oraciones, no sé, plegarias, algo así. <risa> ok, yes. Ok. So, probably some of you didn't 
use it. Algunos de ustedes probablemente ni lo usaron o no lo conocieron, pero vemos otros que sí. Ok. So, we have chat. O sea, hemos chateado desde hace, uh, quién sabe cuándo, desde que estaba esa plataforma. And we still do it. Y aún lo hacemos. Ok. Another example, I've been watching the program every week, for example, with Netflix now. Okay, you start watching a series, ustedes comienzan a ver una serie y a veces agarran hasta maratón. There are some series that have around, like, let me see, like a hundred episodes, I think. Tienen cientos de episodios y ustedes ahí están, every day, every day, watching TV watching movies and so on, okay? Is this clear for you? Yes. 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 Okay, excellent. So this is just a comparison that we have between the present simple and the present perfect. So let me see um, who's going to read. Okay, Susan. Got it. The same simple. Mark and Lisa are married. They have been married for five years. Are you married? How long have you been married? Do you know Sarah? How long have you can know her? Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have the present simple and the present perfect. So we have the first example that says Mark and Lisa are married. And this is now in present. And then it says they had been married for five years. That is present perfect. Mark and Lisa están casados. Ellos han estado casados por cinco años. Then we have the question, are you married? Estás casado o casada. How long have you been married? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estado casado o casada? Do you know Sara? ¿Conoces a Sara? How long have you known her? ¿Hace cuánto la conoces? Okay. So, for example, if I ask... Um, Abigail, how long have you known Jocelyn and Monica? Um, science, uh, one month. <laughs> ah, okay. For a month. Excellent. For a month. Okay. Uh, the example. As Lillian was telling us that she's been married for 16 years. So how long has she been married? Okay, you can see we are using the present perfect. I can tell you that Lillian is married. She has been married for 16 years. Okay, we can ask, um, for example, how many of you are single? ¿Cuántas o cuántos están solteros, solteras? Yo estoy soltero. Okay. And how long have you been single? ¿Cuánto tiempo he estado soltero? All my life. All your life? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, excellent. I, I know, so don't worry about it. This is a way that we can practice. So, yo no es que le voy a decir, uy, le voy a ir a decir a su esposo, esposa. No, no, no se preocupe. Aparte que ni, ni sé quién es, no la conozco, ¿verdad? Así que no se preocupe. Y tampoco le vamos a decir, mira, aquí se olvidó. No, 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 don't worry about it. That is just an example, ¿ok? okay. ¿Alguna pregunta? Enviará eso, nos enviará esa información por WhatsApp. 
Okay. Yes. Thank you. Once we finish, I have, I, I uh -huh. have a question. Go ahead. Um, it's about the answer. Okay. Solo podemos responder con, o sea, digamos, ¿cuánto tiempo está cas I, he estado casado? Por ejemplo, es cinco años. Solo eh, five years o tengo que usar también el presente sin no presente este perfecto perdón okay so right now right now because we are introducing the topic we are going to be using long answers however you can say for five years okay sorry o sea ahorita por cuestiones de práctica Vamos a usar usando lo que son respuestas completas. Pero ya después con el tiempo ustedes pueden decir por cinco años, por 20 años, uh, one year, one month, y así sucesivamente. ¿Ok? Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Another question? Teacher, eh... Una consulta. Ajá. Siempre que se respondan, siempre se tiene que decir have been o no. Uh, that is going to depend on the question. Eso depende de la pregunta. Ok, okay. acá como estamos preguntando de tiempo. Ok, acá estoy preguntando tiempo. How long, cuánto tiempo, have you been married, has estado casado o casada? How long have you known her? ¿Cuánto tiempo la has conocido, por ejemplo? Ahí sí, porque estoy hablando de tiempo, ¿verdad? I have... No, en este caso no, ¿verdad? Because I... En el caso que aquí estoy usando el verbo to be, pero en participio sí. I have been married for five years. Acá, como tengo otro verbo, I have known her for a month. ¿Ok? Entonces el have sí tendría que ir, sí. solo el been cambiaría. El verbo, correcto, sí, el have y ya vamos a ver por qué. Ok, vaya, una de las peculiaridades que tenemos con el presente perfecto es que nosotros utilizamos el auxiliar have or has, ok, and we are going to use a verb in its past participle form. ¿Ok? Por eso les decía que aquí sí hay que tener un poquito más de cuidado y de poner atención. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy usando un auxiliar completamente diferente, que es el have o el has, y a ese auxiliar todavía le tengo que agregar o tengo que usar lo que es un verbo en participio, sea regular o irregular. So, for example, you can see, I have played, we have lived, you have visited, they have read. O en el caso que lo quieran hacer negativo, I haven't played, we haven't lived, you haven't visited, and they haven't read. Okay? But if I'm talking about third person singular, I'm going to use has or has not. Or the contracted form that is hasn't. So, for example, we have he has lost, she has been, it has flown. Or if we are going to use the negative form, he hasn't lost, she hasn't been, it hasn't flown. No sé si hasta acá está claro o si tienen preguntas. It's clear. It's clear. Okay. So let me see. We're going to have... Okay. Veronica. Can you read the questions, please? Veronica Ramirez. Please. Please. 
eh, I play, I play. Okay, the question oh, begins how, here. Have um, I? How, perdón. How I play? Okay. How, ay, no alcanzo a ver. We. Okay, give me a few seconds. How we live? How do you visit? Visited. Visited. Had they read? Read. Read. Okay. Has he, has he lost? Has she been? Had it flo, flown? Has it flown? Flown. Okay, thank you. So with yes, no questions, you can see that we are going to begin with the auxiliary that in this case is have or has. Then we are going to use the subject and the verb in its past participle form. Okay, vamos a usar lo que es el auxiliar, ya sea have or has, dependiendo del sujeto que tengamos. Luego utilizamos lo que es sujeto más el verbo en participio. Okay. Okay. Is this clear for you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Vamos a ver qué tan cierto es. Saúl, can you read the this information, please? This orange table or this orange box? Sorry, teacher. Okay, can you read the, the, the verbs that we have here? Play, uh, we have play, lie, I live, live, I have lived. Visit, 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 she has visit, she has visited. Okay, thank you. Giselle, continue please. Regular verbs. The past participle is I am. Is it? I did. It did. Uh, the same as the simple past. Irregular verbs. The past participle is sometimes the same as in the simple past. Sometimes it's different. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So you can see that there we have um, the past participle form for regular and irregular verbs. And as it says, for regular verbs, the only thing that we do is what it is. Okay. However, for irregular verbs, we can see that sometimes the verb is going to be the same as in the simple past, but it can also be different. For example, if we have the verb cut, el pasado de ese verbo, ¿cuál es? ¿De cuál dijo, perdón? Cut. C-U-T. Yes, C-U-T. Cut. 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 Okay, excellent. How about break? Broke. Broke. And the past participle? Broken. Okay, so you can see that it is different. En el caso de break, se dan cuenta que el pasado con el participio no es el mismo, es decir, que son diferentes. The same would be with the verb be. Lo mismo pasa con el verbo to be. El pasado simple, ¿cuál es? Was, were, was, and were. Was and were, and the past participle that is been. Been. Okay. Excellent. Any question? No? No. 
¿Seguro que no hay preguntas? Ok. So, let's see. Let's work in some examples. Trabajemos en unos ejemplos entonces, if you don't have questions. So, can you tell me, let me go here. Okay. So, I need you to tell me some examples using the present perfect tense. Anyone? She has. Uh -huh. No. She has. Study. Started. English. So. She has studied English in the INSA for for two years. Okay. Thank you. So you can see she has studied English for two years. Okay. Another possible answer. I have lost my book. Ah, okay. I have lost my book. Excellent. What else? I have Um, about 29. 29 what? To so start English. I can yep. see them. Okay, but 29 what? 29 months? Years? No. Not 29. So you have studied English? For 29 years? Así? No, 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 me refería a, a noches. Ah. Okay, so you have studied English at night. For at night. Yo he estudiado inglés en la noche. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Mm -hmm. yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to make a question. Oops. Have you ever eaten a rabbit? Yes, I have. Ah, okay. Yes, I have. That would be an affirmative answer. And how about a negative answer? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, excellent. No, I haven't. Okay, let's see another one. Have you ever... Um, Have you ever won the lottery? No, I oh, haven't. I haven't. Uh, <laughs> okay, so sad. It's a sad Neither never. have I. Or in the case that you're so lucky, yes, I have. Okay, let's see another. Have you ever visited um, Peru? 
haven't. No, I haven't. Or, yes, I have. Okay, let's see different questions. Have you done your homework? Ah, excellent. Have you done your homework? Yes, I have. Excellent. Yes, yes I, have. I have. Or? No, I have. Okay. Have you played video games? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, yes I have. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Have you read a story in English? Yes, I have. Yes, yes, I, have. yes I have. Oh, in el peor de los casos, no, I um. haven't. Okay, excellent. So you can see that here we are studying questions. Aquí estamos viendo lo que son preguntas, ¿verdad? And I need you to tell me if this is clear for you. Se va quedando claro. <laughs> okay. Va quedando claro, claro, claro. Sí, sí, sí queda claro. Lo que pasa es que... Como que recordarlo después es más complicado, ¿verdad? Ah, so you need to practice. Exactly. Yes, yes. Okay. So what we are going to do right now, let me see, is to think at least in two sentences about you. Okay? Two sentences about you in present perfect tense. Okay? Vamos a hacer dos oraciones en presente perfecto. So, for example, I have drunk coffee. He bebido café. Okay? Or you can tell me, I haven't eaten a rabbit. No he comido conejo. Okay? So, I'll give you one minute. Un minuto para que la hagan. Okay. O para que hagan sus oraciones. Did you finish? No. Okay. So let me know when you're ready, please. I'm ready. Excellent. Ready? Perfect. Finish. Okay, excellent. So we are going to listen right now to your examples. And we are going to begin in the order that I have you here. Okay, en el orden que los estoy viendo. Primero tengo a Edwin, después está Verónica, then I have Stephanie, and then we have Giselle. Comienzo con ustedes. Let's listen. Okay, Edwin, please. I haven't gone to London. Okay, Verónica. Eh, yo o Ramírez. Eh, Verónica Ramírez. Um, we, ha we have spoken about this, this in numerous occasions. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Okay, I have. Um, I have played flute. 
Okay, thank you, Giselle. I haven't visited uh, Italy. Excellent. Saul? I haven't to the SEA. Sorry, can you say that one more time? I haven't to the SEA. I haven't. Sorry, but you're missing the verb. Ya se falta el verbo. I haven't. I haven't to the to the B sean. What do you want to say? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir? No he ido al mar. Ah, so I haven't gone. gone. I haven't gone to the sea. Okay. Thank you. Let's see who's next. Uh, Jocelyn Marroquin. I haven't exercised this month. Okay, excellent. Lillian. Okay, I have been watching my phone for all day. Okay, I have been watching my phone the whole day. Sandra. I have played basketball for 10 years. Excellent, Janet. I haven't visited Guatemala on Saturday. Okay, perfect, Abigail. I have illustrated on computer for a year. Okay, Veronica Moss. I have walked to my job. I have walked to my job. Excellent, Jocelyn, Marie. I have been in La Paz department. Okay, I had been to La Paz, Walter. I had played soccer since I was a kid. Okay, since I was since. a kid. Excellent, Monica. I have been visited Disneyland. I have been visited Disneyland. Okay, so choose just one verb, solamente un verbo. I have been ah. to Disneyland or I have visited. Okay, I have visited Disneyland. Okay, excellent. Uh, let me see who's next. Susan. I have been teach math class for seven years. I have been teaching uh -huh. math class for seven years. Okay, I have been teaching math for seven years. And the last one, Sandra. Yes. I have seen that movie three times. I can say. Okay, uh, how many Sandras do we have? Thank you, Sandra. Sandra de Sanchez. Yes. Okay. I haven't gone to the market. Okay, excellent. So now let's see. I hope that you have paid attention. Espero que hayan puesto atención. Yes. So, um, uh, 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 vamos a tener a big team. And that big team is going to be... Let me see, how many, how many boys do we have? ¿Cuántos chicos tenemos? Solo hay tres. Yes, okay. Para que vean que las mujeres somos también así bien caballerosas. 
Vamos a comenzar con uno de ustedes, chicos. Ok. So, girls, díganme, ¿a quién pasamos primero? ¿A Edwin, Saúl o Walter? Thanks. Ok. Thanks. <laughs> Excellent. So, Edwin, let's see how good you are at remembering. Veamos qué tan bueno es para recordar. Nos va a decir las oraciones de todas sus compañeras. Really? Ah, yes. no. <laughs> Why It's no? It's impossible for me. You don't no. remember? Sorry, Edwin. No, I don't remember. Okay, so do Sorry. you remember yours? ¿Se acuerda de la suya? Your... Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. I haven't gone to London. Okay, and Veronica, what did she say? We have spoken about I... this. Oh, 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 uh -huh. Edwin. Me or Edwin? Edwin. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. ¿Cuál dijo Verónica? Yes. I don't remember. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so which sentences do you remember? ¿Qué, qué oraciones o qué ejemplos son los que usted recuerda? Maybe I haven't seen the movie three times, more or less. And who said that? Um, maybe Giselle. Uh-uh. It wasn't Giselle. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> Ok, ¿dónde está el poder masculino? Let's see, Saúl, can you help him, please? Ok, he's laughing. Just look at him, he's laughing. No. Él solo dijo que, iba, que había ido a la playa. Ah, so you remember. Yes. Yes. Ok. Ok, what do you remember, Walter? Uh, Well, two, I guess. I remember someone say about Illustrator. Uh huh. And who was that person? I guess uh, Marikail. Excellent. And what did she yeah. say? Ah? ¿Qué fue lo que dijo? <laughs> exactly, I don't know. <laughs> She started Illustrator, I guess. Um. <laughs> Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Kind of. Más o menos. Tell us one more. What was the second one that you remember? Uh, uh, say, um, Monica. She say she had been to she Disney. She has? She has been to Disney. Ah, okay. That she has been to or she hasn't been to? Uh, she has. Okay. And what did Susan say? Susan. Ah, Susan, a teacher of Matic. Uh huh. Susan has. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, yeah, she Susan said that she has, has teach taught uh -huh. talk, sorry, talk uh, math 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 or four seven two years, two years seven. Years. Years. Okay. Excellent. Ajá. Vaya. Tengo que ya son las diez y uno, señores y señoritas. Okay. Salvados por la campana. Salvados por la campana. 
Ajá, ya, yeah. pero esto es así como de memoria, ¿verdad? Para ver qué tanto recuerdan o si habían puesto atención. Ok. Ok, perfect. Vaya, vamos a estar trabajando igualmente el día lunes, ¿verdad? Con lo que es el presente perfecto. Así que necesito que se aprendan bien lo que son los verbos en su, bueno, en su forma participe, ¿verdad? Sean regulares o irregulares. Because that's something that we are going to be doing for Monday, okay? Okay. So that's okay. going to be all for today. Thank you so much for coming and see you Thank on Thank you, Monday. teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.